Another orphan chimpanzee is brought to the Takugama Sanctuary. Every month, there is a new arrival here. Conservation is safe for every baby chimp rescued. Eight to ten adults or youngsters may have been killed. But even more worrying is the rapid loss of their habitat. The destruction that is going on is uh, not sustainable, it's unsustainable. Um, sanctuary, yes, we need to have the sanctuary running because this is the law enforcement arm of the government. So we need a facility where the rescued animals could come if the government could implement the laws. But then we need to keep looking at the broader picture. How do we stop them? How can we stop the killing? How can we stop our habitats going? That seems a near impossible task, considering the pressure from poachers and land grabbers. And the laws aren't a deterrent. Under Sierra Leone's 1972 Wildlife Act, the fine for killing a chimpanzee is less than a dollar, an amount poachers and hunters can afford if they are caught. 96 of the estimated 5,500 Western chimpanzees in Sierra Leone live in this sanctuary. The rest are in the wild at the mercy of poachers, farmers, loggers, as well as other human activities such as gold and diamond mining. A few months ago, the government of Sierra Leone declared this endangered subspecies of chimpanzee as a national animal in an effort to protect it and boost tourism. But animal conservation groups say, unless they get the money to protect these primates, they won't be around for much long. The mounting cost of feeding the chimps is a concern for a sanctuary that's barely staying afloat. One and a half thousand dollars is needed a year just to feed a chimpanzee. The resources are hard to come back and also it's very difficult at the moment. The government is not committing any resources towards the sanctuary. This is something we've been appealing for a long time. Um, I think, yes, with a little bit more resources, we can do a lot more. And uh, that is probably the major frustration. So operators of the center have opened its doors to ecotourists who bring in a little money to help run it. The rangers who patrol the sanctuary are few and unarmed. They stand no chance against heavily armed poachers who are active around its perimeter. A week ago, we had three gunshots around Takugama Axisia. And um, fortunately for us, um, we have set a camera that picked up a poacher that belongs to the community whom we know very well. Bala Amarasekaran has been in Sierra Leone for more than 40 years. He started the sanctuary 25 years ago and kept it running even through the country's brutal civil war. Takugama is a success story despite the lack of support. It wants to expand care and protection to the other 5,400 chimpanzees and thousands of other animals and birds in Sierra Leone's other nature reserves. But it's not clear if or for how long it can afford to continue its work. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Takugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary in Sierra Leone.